Oh, you're looking at a 2007 E350 Super Duty wheelchair van that was previously owned by the Maryland uh, Transportation Authority. I've gotten a lot of these buses and I have about uh, five or six at the moment. This one has a couple things that need to be fixed, so um, please listen to the whole video. Runs and drives well, it'll drive you wherever you need to go. It's not rusty, and the tires are good. The air conditioning is blowing cool to cold, and I'll let you hear that in a minute. Well, we'll do that right now. the air conditioning cycling a little which means a shot of Freon will fix it. This needs a little more Freon. Has a 6.8 V10 engine which is the preferred engine in 2007. The diesel, the diesel in that year had given them a lot of trouble. That water coming out is air conditioning overflow. The engine is revved up right now. It has the auto uh, accelerate to keep the uh, engine turning enough to uh, keep the air conditioning cold. Now there is not a receiver on the lift. I tried a receiver from another vehicle and it did not work. So the lift is going to need, it's usually a relay or something simple. Um, I did pump it manually. It will come down manually and pump up manually. Right now it's seat six. Turn the air conditioning down. If you turn the air conditioning down, it gets cold. It's another way you know that it. Uh, uh, it's just a little bit low on Freon. The seats are in good shape. A couple small tears. Blows from back here and up front. Has the wheelchair tie downs. Now I've had people use these for all sorts of different things. Uh, kayak and canoe transport. Motorcycle transport. Um, tailgating buses for um, you know, football, baseball, all that kind of stuff. Um, a lot of uses. It's a lot of vehicle for the money. This is a hundred and twenty thousand dollar vehicle. You're going to buy for a fraction of that right now. Now it does have a lot of miles on it. It's over two hundred thousand, but um, they've been well taken care of, and um, like I said, it drives well. Has a power door. Now the air conditioning is blowing cold, so it's 278 thousand miles. And like I said, I've gotten a lot of these, sold them to all different kinds of people, that done all kinds of things with them. We're located in Frankfort, Delaware, which is about 20 miles outside of Ocean City. If you're thinking about flying in, you'd fly into the Salisbury, Maryland airport and we pick you up. Plenty of power here. I mean, it rides like a truck. But uh, he drives like you would expect it to. All the gauges are good, no check engine light or anything like that. A little whistle in the door. Has a clear title and we'll give you a 60-day temporary tag to drive it home on. Now, 
At the end of the auction, you'll need a 250 hour deposit, and the balance is due within seven days. Now, you don't have to pick it up for 30 days, but the balance is due within seven days. I'm going by our lot right now. And we're about an hour and a half from Wilmington. There's a couple more buses. Two hours, or 20 minutes outside Ocean City, Maryland. So come on down to the shore, pick up the vehicle, spend the night, go check out the ocean, and head back to wherever you need to go. Now, like I said, don't expect it to be perfect, but it runs well. And it'll drive you home wherever you need to go. Here's one more time. So, like I said, it rides a little bit like a bus, but not a vehicle for the money. Buy this Maryland MTA bus. If it's what you're looking for, you'll like it. There's some more of them at our service place across the street. So buy this bus.